So what gives you the right to claim that MK belongs to you? You've got no chance in court. But we are sending a loud and clear message that if these courts, which are sometimes captured, if they stop MK, there will be anarchy in this country. There will be rights like you've never seen in this country. There'll be no election. No South African will go to the polls if MK is not... On people saying if a certain party uh, of your erstwhile or your predecessor is not on the ballot paper, there will be outright civil war in the country. Well, we've been hearing that, and I just want to make it very clear to anyone who is threatening any form of unrest, they will be followed up and they will be arrested. Those are people who belong in jail. Those are people who are the enemies of our democracy. The people of South Africa value this hard-won democracy and they don't want any form of instability. And we've always followed the rule of law. When you are dissatisfied with any decision, be it a government decision, the president's decision, a minister's decision, even a court decision, there are ways in which all those complaints can be followed up. So for anyone to say that if this does not happen, they are going to, to have instability, it's against the will of the people of South Africa. And I can promise you, those people will be followed up, we will arrest them. And they do not belong as part of the South African community that wants stability. That is going to happen. When issues or incidents of corruption and criminality happen, we immediately take action. There must be accountability. Those who are doing uh, things that lead to theft and so on must be followed up. They must be arrested. There must be consequence management. And consequence management means that those others uh, who are working should not be tempted. They should see that people who indulge in corruption and steal will be followed up, they will be punished. Uh, that's the way we are doing things. So she briefed me about all that and there is follow up. Uh, so we cannot allow situations like that to continue happening without any follow up, accountability and consequence management. Well, when it comes to uh, approaching the International Court of Justice with regard to the plight of the Palestinians, we approaching the court once again because Israel has not been complying with the order uh, that was uh, issued by the court. So we've seen it, seen it fit to approach the court on an urgent basis, particularly in the view, in, with the view of addressing the challenges in the Rafa area, where a few days ago more than a hundred people were massacred. Uh, and we, we want the court uh, to take another decision on that, on how it addresses that and forestalls the occurrence of any other uh, uh, occurrence. Now, the one other concerning thing is that starvation, which many organizations have been warning about, has now arrived. People in Gaza are now starving. There is no food. There is no usual facilities like water, and people are dying, and especially young children are dying as a result of having no food. People have no food in their homes, and that is why as delivery vans or trucks come, there's a scurrying for, for food, and the, which is a natural reaction. So our action is aimed at also addressing that because the people of Palestine are really suffering in Gaza. The suffering is beyond human contemplation or understanding and the world has to do something and hence we've called for an immediate ceasefire and a humanitarian one for that matter so that 
food and other supplies, health supplies can come in. So South Africa is determined to continue supporting. been hearing that and I just want to make it very clear to anyone who is threatening any form of unrest they will be followed up and they will be arrested those are people who belong in jail those are people who are the enemies of our democracy the people of South Africa value this hard-won democracy and they don't want any form of instability and we've always followed the rule of law when you are dissatisfied with any decision, be it a government decision, the president's decision, a minister's decision, even a court's decision, there are ways in which all those complaints can be followed up. So for anyone to say that if this does not happen, they are going to, to have instability, it's against the will of the people of South Africa. And I can promise you those people who will be followed up, we will arrest them and they do not belong as part of the South African community that wants stability. That is going to happen.